Okay, I was gonna record this yesterday outside in the sun, like in the thumbnail, but once I started recording the wind went crazy and it just was like all in the in the background and I wasn't finna post that because ain't nobody finna listen to that. So, um, how to not be a bitter Becky, how to stay happy, keep pushing, you know, the memes where it's like stress, anxiety, depression, work, all that stuff in the background and then it's a kid like, in the, in the, in the front, I'm finna teach you how to be that kid. Just still happy, still pushing, still motivated, all right? And first step, you have to be accepting of change. You got to realize that you're in control of your life, but you're not in control of everybody else's because why? They're in control of their shit too. And people are not always going to choose to do the right thing or say the right thing and all that because we're all here to learn, right? So you have to be accepting of change. Um, you never know what could happen. Like people always think that can't be me, but then it'd be them. And then they'd be sitting there messed up and, and be, you know, be accepting the change. You're not growing if you're just always comfortable with where you are in life. I always tell people, like, I read tarot, right? Uh, book a tarot reading, oh my, go to my social media and book you a tarot reading. I'll be reading the cards, you know what I'm saying? But anyways, um, I always tell them, you have to be comfortable with being uncomfortable because growth with growth comes discomfort, <laughs> pretty much. Because you're doing something new, you're learning something new, feeling new emotions, feelings, things like that, experiencing new things. And you have to do that, though, in order to learn more things, gain more knowledge, because everything can't just be told to you or you can read it and just understand it. Some stuff you got to actually go through. Number two, um, start trusting yourself. Like we all, all of us always go through something in our life where we're like, dang, I knew that was going to happen. And I still did it. Or I knew I shouldn't have listened, but I did. Or I knew I shouldn't have went here. Why not just stay in the house? You know, people always feel like they're going to miss out on something. Like, you knew you shouldn't have went to the party, but you feel like something might have happened. And, like, people would have had a good time and been posting. So then, you know, you missing out. You're not missing out on anything. Like, they're going to do that next weekend and the weekend after that. And the weekend after that. Like, you on social media, it'd be the same thing this week. That's going to be on there next week. It's just going to be different people doing it or different different details in the storyline. But there's always the same stuff going on all the time. Like, just worry about yourself. Because your intuition will never misguide you, like, ever. That gut feeling, trust your gut, okay? That's your intuition. Okay. Number three. Oh, I just, I just said that in the last one. Worry about yourself. If y'all wonder what I'm looking at, I'm looking at my journal. Worry about yourself, okay? If everybody would just worry about themselves, uh, we would have a lot less problems in the world. You know what I'm saying? Because... People like to mind the business that does not pay them. Why? I don't know. As long as you worry about yourself, focus on yourself, you'll always and remain on your path. You're going to be straight. The universe is going to reward you. But if you sit here worry about them and what they're doing or your ex and who they're talking to or your friend and how she talking to the person that she was just talking about, and woo -woo, don't nobody care. Don't know that matter. Is any of that helping you? It's not oh, okay then, so it does not matter. All right, what what I write on here? Emotionally, mentally, and physically. Yeah, because when you worry about yourself, that is how you how you learn basically more about yourself. You know, how people say you need to date yourself or be your own friend. Sometimes you really just need to worry about your own self. Quit taking on other people's problems and making them yours because that's your friend or because that's your boyfriend or your girlfriend or because it's your cousin. It ain't your problem. It ain't your problem. We all got our own our own journey that we're on. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, worry about yourself. It'll help you emotionally, mentally, and physically because then you make time for yourself to start doing stuff you never thought you'd do, like go to the gym and you know, things like that. My bad. Some y'all are you know, people with tattoos, they just start itching out of nowhere sometimes. Um, anyways, but that's how you'll be able to be mature enough and know yourself well enough to be able to respond to anything that life throws at you. That's what I mean by that. Number four, you have to get rid of victim mentality. Evaluate yourself in situations. If you keep having the same type of things go on, same type of people coming to your life, same type of argument, same type of whatever. And it's a problem. Maybe it's something you're doing. Maybe you need to evaluate yourself instead of blaming everybody else and everything else in your past and all this and that. Because everybody 
everybody has a past everybody goes through things everybody has you feel me we're all responsible for ourselves and for our own actions so i also like to remind people that life is happening for you not to you so yeah definitely that'll help you get out of the victim mindset if you think about that i'm here for a reason find my purpose you know help people whatever your purpose is whatever your purpose is i ain't gonna be just ain't yeah they need to take control and just accept responsibility and take accountability for things in your life number five speak nicely to yourself that people like it's so normal and so easy for people to just speak negatively of themselves nowadays and it's crazy because i've been doing it too sometimes you know you just like i'm be like dang i look crusty woo i look a hot mess Woo, like just so you don't have to say stuff like that like even if you know you look crazy you're still that bitch like you gotta you gotta you gotta start changing how you talk to yourself how you look at yourself speak nicely to yourself but also learn to show yourself some compassion because this is okay yeah whenever i ignore my intuition because that's ugh, the lessons i'll be learning is is they be, my spirit guys be telling me to just I should listen to my damn self from the beginning. So you know I, I hear them this time. I'm I'm listening to them this time. So you know, show yourself the same compassion that you show others. You know how people go through things and you just make excuses for them because you care about them or you love them and all this and that. And do, 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 do. I'm not saying make excuses for yourself or be blinded by like don't do the victim the the victim thing. Like I said, don't get into a victim mentality. Oh, well I've been through this, so I da 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 da. But you do have to realize you are still human. You know we're even though we're not really humans, we're spirits living in you know having a human experience. But whatever. Um, myself, I always be like. I'm dumb. Why didn't I just listen to myself? Or I'm stupid. I feel dumb. I like you don't have to quit saying stuff like that because yes, we I knew I didn't listen, but now I know. You know, I, I didn't I didn't know, but now now I know. Okay, and if you apply that, apply your lessons and all that stuff, you're not dumb, you're not stupid. Even if you don't, you gotta learn it a few times. Sometimes it takes people longer than others to you feel me actually get something and have it stick with them and click. So, show yourself the same compassion that you show others. But in parentheses for speak nicely to yourself, I also put, and your enemies or people that you have fallen out with, things like that. Because speaking negatively on people, it, I promise you, it don't do shit to them. Like, they don't they don't give a damn. They don't care. Or some people might, you know. But that ain't even the real them that care. That's their ego and stuff that like to argue bigger and blah, blah, blah. You sitting here talking to talking stuff about whoever your old friend, ex lover, family member you fell out with, you're still giving them your energy. And a lot of times, like people that you're close with like that, there's there's things called soul ties. You know what I'm saying? So you're still attached to that person, or you're still in that person's energy realm, or y'all could still like feel each other even if y'all aren't even around each other talking to each other anymore you know what i'm that yeah, y'all know what i'm talking about y'all know what i'm talking about if you don't know look it up no matter what kind of energy it is it's still energy like energy can't be destroyed so you still just transfer all of that to them and when you put out negative energy what do you think is going to come back to you like negativity duh bad situations karma blah, 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 things like that so if you speak nicely about yourself and about whoever, even though it don't matter what they did to you, it don't matter. You wish them the best. You hope and really, you got to mean it though. Like you really got to mean it. Don't just be all, yeah, I hope they get it together. I hope they, they learn their lesson. Like, no, don't be bitter with it. Don't be a bitter Becky. Don't be a sour Susie. Okay. Don't, don't. It's not that serious because it don't do nothing for you. So wish them the best hope hope that they can get it sooner or later but that ain't got nothing to do with you no more <laughs> worry about yourself um number six we got set intentions okay if you wake up every day and you trying to figure out your path or you already know your path you, you're like your purpose but you're trying to figure out a path and things like that um set intentions each day so like whether it be a little checklist or a reminder something in your phone um Put, put some goals down like 
when people have these big dreams, you have to set smaller goals to get to your bigger goals. You know what I'm saying? I ain't saying dream small, but I'm saying dream big, but you got to take steps to get to, to that. You know what I'm saying? So throughout the day, there is something you could be doing every day to work towards your path, your goal, whatever it is that you want to do. But if you're writing it down and like, you, it'll even be satisfying to just check it off at the end of the day because you know that you got through the day and you did something productive. You did something to work towards something that you believe in. It don't matter what other people think or what other people say. If that's what you know and feel you're called to do or whatever, do that. It will be very satisfying and you it will make you happy. And number seven, very simple, is show gratitude. If you don't show gratitude for what you already have, then you definitely not going to be getting blessings. The universe is not going to be trying to, you feel me, help you out in certain situations. You have to be thankful for what you already have. 12-12. Twelve, twelve. <laughs> that was confirmation. Um, Well, sorry, y'all ain't going to see 12-12 because I'm going to edit the mess out of this. But this video is 12 minutes long right now. But um, anyways, yes, yeah, show gratitude. People are so like, when I say you're in that victim mentality, all you can do is think of the negative, 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 negative. If, and if you're in a low vibration, it's easier for them negative thoughts to come through and like stick with you as you start to believe it that like, oh, life sucks and da da da, da like, bro, life is really great to be honest with you. This, it's really amazing. Like, it's really, anyways. But yes, you have to show gratitude. I mean, I just want to write some daily things you could do to keep your, your spirits clean and happy and nice and all them things. So, some things you can do daily or weekly, however you know you want to fit into your schedule. Um, You can sage, you can meditate, do some yoga, you can go exercise, um, declutter your space, keep your room clean, aromatherapy, incense, um, put some little diffusers, things like that. Um, journaling. That's I love my journal. Journaling is so helpful. I there's this thing on Twitter. It's a Twitter thread that I uh got saved. Like I sent it to myself in my DM because I don't ever want to like not find it. And it's uh, 365 days worth of shadow work. Like it's a prompt. So it's questions on there that you can answer each day out the year about yourself. To you feel me heal that that inner childhood trauma, that inner darker self, that you know part of yourself that we try to suppress and don't don't want to deal with, don't want to come out, things like that. I suggest it. Um, if you if y'all follow me on there, you know I will send it to you gladly if you ask. But shoot, don't be no bitter Becky, y'all. Being a bitter Becky don't hurt nobody but yourself. I promise, okay? Don't be a sour Susie. Don't be a um. Hmm. Yeah, nothing's coming to me. All I got is bitter Becky and sour Susie. Anyways, be a um terrific Teresa. You know what I'm saying? Be a be a happy heather okay there we go yeah be a happy heather all right i'm out of this i'm um, bye <laughs>